My mom is so sweet. I had three of my Christmas communion books left over and she bought five more. She's gonna have me sign them and she's gonna give them as gifts to her. Um, she's a professor, so she's gonna bring them as gifts to her uh, colleagues. So pretty cool. It's a great devotional. If you haven't got it, you should go buy it. Every day is so amazing. You know what, let me read one to you now. Let me read the first day to you because it's just awesome. <clears throat> but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. And that's in Isaiah, the Old Testament, 53, 5, and that's NIV. Jesus, Jesus was pierced and crushed so we could have peace and be healed. This is the truth of Christmas. A tiny baby born to make this great exchange. Like a miracle gift waiting under the Christmas tree to be received and unwrapped by each of us. God has called us all to accomplish great things for his glory. But none of us will be expected to take the transgressions or sins of the world onto, onto our shoulders. We can rejoice today that... Though life may be difficult at times, Jesus was born to accomplish a great work on our behalf. Jesus offers us this gift of salvation that no one other than God in the flesh could provide. How joyful we are that we can receive this gift freely. The gift of salvation is ours, not because we are good enough, but because God loves us. When all the world tells us that we must be good to earn our Christmas gifts, and if we do something wrong, our names are instantly placed on the naughty list, God tells us that no matter what we have done or how badly we have messed up, God's gift of Jesus is totally ours every day. The gift of Jesus, Jesus is a constant, and it doesn't change. This gift doesn't care about the color of our skin, the money in the bank account, or the accomplishments on our wall. It doesn't rely on how we feel, what we know, what we, or what we have achieved. This, this gift is free, given in love, and filled to overflowing with God's goodness. We will learn more about this gift as we get closer to our day of Christmas communion. And as you walk through each day of Christmas, remember God's gift of Jesus is free. All you have to do is receive it. Quote, For God so loved the world that he gave his only, his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that's John 3.16 NIV. And here's a joy activity. Um, each day gets a joy activity. So this one's uh, day one. Gift wrap or decorate a shoebox and cut a small opening into the top of the lid. Get a small stack of note cards or cut pieces of paper into squares and place them next to the box along with the pen or pencil. Set the gift box, note, note paper, and pencil in a prominent place in your home. Over the next 25 days, you and your family can fill out little note cards when you see someone doing, some, doing something special. Or you can fill out a note card when God reveals an aspect of his goodness and love to you. Then on December 25th, read the collected notes out loud after your Christmas communion in a spirit of thankfulness. And that was day one. And there's 25 um, days. And at the end, I give a juice recipe and a bread recipe um, by my friend Holly Smith. It's called uh, Newlywed Bread. And so you can do Christmas communion on December 25th in the true spirit of Christmas. Okay, you guys, have a blessed day and Merry Christmas.